Hey guys, it's Colorado Dave here. I'm doing yet another knife sale, Friday night knife sale. Here we go. I have a few more knives left to sell. I have, just so you guys know, in the last two weeks, I've sold about 20 knives. So yes, my pricing's real. I am real about getting rid of these. Um, like I said, I'm raising money for a very important cause. I'm actually gonna talk to you guys about it at some time here in the future, but not today. Uh, today I'm focused on what I need to do for my family and for doing that I need to uh, get rid of a few of these knives and uh, so that's what we're doing here tonight I got a few left that I'm still going to try to sell um, these are really close to the heart all these knives do mean something to me and they're not going to be easy to give up so um, I think I'm being very fair with the pricing if I'm not do uh, let me know but uh Anyway, what I'm gonna here's what here's how it's gonna work. Um, if you see down below here, I do have a uh, email address mfg.dpayne at gmail.com. So that's mfg.dpayne at gmail.com, and that's where I want you to email me, and I want you to tell me what knife you want. I want you to tell me the asking price, and I am not looking to fluctuate on that price. But just tell me the price. Um, I have the prices as well, but just so make sure we're on the same page with it. Give me your uh, full name uh, and your PayPal information, and we will move forward. Um, let's see. What do I want to start with this thing tonight? Let's start with... Um, I'm going to start out with my Ikuchi. Okay, this is a Spyderco Ikuchi. I got it down to $100. This is basically a brand new knife. All these knives come with their boxes and all their original materials that come in the boxes. Um, I'm pretty OCD, so I have everything. And you'll see my knives are very clean as well. Um, this is the uh, Paul Alexander uh, Spyderco. And this is the CQI version, which is the constant quality improvement version of this knife. So this is the one that has the drop shut action, as you can see. And it also has, I guess there was an issue that's um, with the blade sticking out a little bit on the first version of this. Um, that is not an issue on this knife at all. $100 is what I'm asking for this knife, $100. This is only going to be posted, guys, so you understand for tonight only. Um, I will be answering you guys tomorrow, and I'll be mailing stuff out as soon as tomorrow afternoon or by Monday at the latest. Um, I do feel confident in my pricing and what I'm selling that most of this is going to probably sell. So um, if you are interested in something, please do reach out. And uh, if you don't get something and you wanted it, you know, reach out, make a comment. Let's talk. I'm uh, still going to be in this community. I am keeping just a couple knives and I'm going to basically do a few videos on how I had to give these knives up, how quickly I did it, and the decisions I made on what knives to keep and what knives I got rid of. Because I'm literally taking this down to two main knives that I um, am going to cherish and... Uh, we will get into that at a later date. I'm not telling what those are yet at this point, but uh, I do have a couple low-end knives as well that I'm holding on to that are a couple originals that I had that are some like uh, beginner Civivis and things like that that I had. I do have a couple knives like that, but not a lot. Um, so it's a sad day, but it's also an important day, and uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to make somebody else happy with these knives and give them a good home. Sorry, let's keep going here, guys. I know I'm rambling. On to an awesome knife which is the benchmade super freak and this is the 560 dash uh one i believe it is or dash two i'm not sure anyway it is the one that's in the m4 steel and the coating on this thing is awesome um i really 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 like the coating i have put my edge on this thing and it is sharp as you know what um, it is used. Um, I have used this knife. I haven't used it heavy, but I have definitely carried it. Uh, the pocket clip has some wear on it, but actually I like the way it's worn. There's no like big goofy scratches. It just has a nice natural, like kind of tumbled weird look to it. Uh, like I said, the blade's in good shape. Um, the action on this thing's phenomenal. You guys know Benchmade and what they're about. Um, I'm looking for 150. This is 195, I think, new. So I'm looking for 150. I might go $10 less than that on this, possibly. Um, but again, it would only be for the right home for the right person that really, really wants this knife and I know is going to use it. Um, that's what I got on my bench made there. Do mention the $10 um, if you watch the whole video. All right, let's keep going forward. What do we got? This here is one that is my very first ever Benchmade 940. And I had never held one. I had never owned one. Um, 
but I fell in love with the look of it on Blade HQ. And this is the Blade HQ exclusive. This is the one that was done on the G10 Jade scales. And it's the 940 BK2004 is uh, what the model is on that one. And it's the blue class series. Um, this went for, I want to say, 195 new. Um, this was a limited exclusive edition by Blade HQ with um, Benchmade. So um, for that reason, I bought it because I figured it would give me a chance to play with one. And uh, if I decided not to keep it, I could probably get out of it and get my money back for it. You know, if I didn't get greedy or maybe even make a little bit. Um, that's how most people kind of refer to it if they got the knife. I got one, and to be honest with you, I had very bad luck with it. It, it was a piece of crap. <laughs> it, uh, it had horrible action. It was off-center. It was jamming up. Um, it had all kinds of issues, and it was on the first run of these things that they did. Uh, Blade HQ ended up doing two runs of them. I returned it, and I wanted to get another one, but they didn't have them because they had sold out of them so quick. Um, so basically, I was just without one, but I did get my money back. Well, about a week or two later, another run came out of them. I didn't jump on it right away because I was so dissatisfied with the first one, to be honest with you, and it was my first experience ever with a 940. Um, I hesitated and uh, on even getting it, but I love the look of it. I just think it's a, you know, I just think it's a gorgeous blade, and, and it is a gorgeous blade. And um, so anyway, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it again because I really, really want to like this blade. I really want to like it. And um, so I went ahead and... Uh, Pulled the trigger, and I got another one. Now, this one came out, and it is perfect. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 100% it's perfectly centered. Um, the action on this one is phenomenal. I mean, it's just it's really good. It's tight as can be. There's no play whatsoever in the knife. Um, I have put my edge on it. Um, I was going to make it a user. I haven't. I've totally safe queened it outside of putting my edge on it, um, but I've made it sharp as hell. And the reason I put my edge on it was it was my first 940. I didn't like the fact that it was so thick behind the edge. So I thinned it out to about 18 degrees behind the edge. And I'm telling you what, it is so, so nice. I did it on my KME and I mirrored it. And uh, no regrets on the edge. You guys will like the edge if you're going to use this knife. Um, if you're strictly looking to collect it, it might not be the one for you because I put the edge on it. But I'm telling you, it's beautiful and the edge looks great on it. But uh, anyway... That one I'm going for, I had put this up uh, a couple days ago. I sold most of the knives that I put up. This one, I had a couple of people ask about it. A couple of people lowballed me on it, to be honest. Um, and so a couple of people did want it. I'm dropping my price from 220 to 210 And I'm going to probably hold pretty firm on that but uh, because I wouldn't mind keeping this knife, to be honest with you. But uh, if you do have interest, this will probably be your last chance to get a hold of this one for me. And that's what I got on the Benchmade. Now, let's look at my Medford. This one's been up twice, and it's one of the few that has not sold. And the first time it went up, it was 260. Then I did it at 250. Now I've got it down to 240. Uh, retail on it's 290. Uh, the reason I kept my price higher, and the reason I probably haven't sold it is because I am including an extra clip for free um, that's brand new. Um, long story behind it, but bottom line, you're getting a free clip that's brand new that's not used. Um, and it comes with the screws and everything. So you, uh, you're ready to go with that. Um, it does have its birth date and all that good stuff. Let's show it here to you. So hopefully you can see all this. This is on camera. But for those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's going to come in the bag like this, which we'll open in a minute. Let's look at the birth date here. You got a certificate of creation and authenticity. And that's February 12th. And that's of 2021. So you can tell this is still a new knife. Very new knife. Um... You do have your warranty and stuff in there, your Medford warranty. Um, what else do we got going on in here? There's that extra clip I told you about. Put the box off to the side. You get the pouch with it as well. And inside the pouch is your Smooth Criminal. And I got the blue one, which I think is the best looking one that they have. Um, I really like it. I've held a few of these and played with a few of these. And this is by far the best action of any of the ones I've played with. Um, this is just, oh, the action's awesome. It's really, really good. Perfectly centered right down the middle. If you can see that on the camera, hopefully you can see that okay. Um, but perfectly centered. This is what you call a button lock. Um, you can do it with the button, open and close it, almost like an access lock. Or here you got the flipper, so you can just flip it open as well. So you have both options there. This is an aluminum frame knife. 
This is done in S35VN. This is a Medford knife and tool product. Um, it's just a great, great little knife. Um, little in size, meaning it's not real, like real, real big. And uh, the weight is not that bad on it because of the aluminum. But man, it's durable and it feels heavy duty. It feels more than just like a little knife. It feels like a lot of knife in your hand. And I have put my mirrored edge on there along with the hand grind that Medford has on this knife. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful blade. Um, this is a great, great knife. And like I said, you get the extra clip, you get all the birth certificates, everything else that comes with it, the authenticity. Um, $240, guys. Awesome, awesome deal for a great, great knife. Another one that I'm going to regret getting rid of. I'm just doing it because I need to at the time. All right. Hopefully you guys get that. Um, if you do have questions on any of these, do reach out. Let me know. But uh, again, 240 on the Medford Smooth Criminal. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side. And, oh, guys, this is killing me. I want to cry. I want to cry just thinking about these two knives I'm going to show you. I can't believe I'm showing you these knives. Okay. The first one I'm going to show you here is my Spider Co. Dmitry Sinkovich Drunken. And this is a beautiful, beautiful knife. It does come with the case. That's what it came in. Um, I do have the original materials and stuff that came with it. In addition to that, there's a note in there, if you can see, there's a note there in the back. I'm not gonna pull it out and read it word for word, but I'm gonna basically tell you the gist of what it says. And what that note says, is I got one of these and I got it from Deadwood Knives. Great, great guys. And um, the one I got had a bunch of scratches on it when I got it. And it just got delivered to me that way. It, it happens. But there were a couple, uh, excuse me, scratches and marks in the blade when I got it. So I called the guys up and I said, you know, hey, how do you want to, uh, you know, how do you want to handle this? I, I want the knife. I definitely like the knife. Do you have more of them? You know, can you get me another one? Um, and just, you know, can I just exchange this for, for, for a different one? And uh, the guy on the phone's name was Andy. And Andy said, uh, absolutely. He goes, I'm going to do you one better. He goes, we just got these in. You got the first one that went out. We got 10 of them total. So there's nine left here. He goes, after I get off the phone, he goes, I'm going to literally handpick one out that has the absolute best possible blade on it that I can give you. And the reason is that some of these do have some miscellaneous, um, I don't want to say defects, but just uh, some miscellaneous marks in them um, from the polishing process. Because I guess this S90V is very, very, very difficult to stonewash and then polish, which is what they've done to this blade, which just makes it gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful blade. The durability of it, the finished blade, is, is there with all of them, no matter what. I mean, it just because of that polish that they do on it, it makes this blade unbelievably durable. And uh, so, so don't have any worries that way. But some of them just can have these little tiny, like, little, like, bare metal spots that, that, that are just, uh, I, for lack of a better term, are like slight defects. Um, and so this guy, long and short of it, he went through all nine that were left there, handpicked out the one that looked the best blade-wise and had no marks at all in it and said, I'm holding this one for you. He said, as soon as I get it back from you in the mail, which I sent it to, oh, I think I sent it two days to make sure he got it right away. And uh, he sent this one back out to me. The action, everything on it is perfect, guys. It is unbelievably smooth. This has got to be one of the most beautiful knives that I've ever held in my hand. Um, Dr. Franke is I like the term that he used and I like his um I like his review on this knife very 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 much but the way he refers to this knife is he doesn't say it's the best spider co that was ever made but he says it's the finest and I love that terminology because I think that's a great way to describe this knife it is from the tai tu tai Taiwan Tai Chung plant and one of the things that they do very well is their quality of their finish so this just has a gorgeous, gorgeous carbon fiber finish with just unbelievably, you know, unbelievable milling. We talked about the blade, this S90V blade that nobody, I guess, outside of what Spyderco's done here, has been able to put this beautiful polish on. Um, I guess it's very, very difficult to put this stonewash polish finish on it. 
Um, again, Dr. Franke described this knife and did a great review on it. If you haven't seen it and you have interest in this knife, I highly recommend you watch it. But, um, but he, I'm, not, I'm probably not doing it justice. But, uh, but anyway, um, he really, really, you know, made an analogy that I agree with 100% in saying that, you know what, this knife is not to be compared to a ZT, you know, or anything else that's an American-made knife, in my opinion. This knife is to be compared to a Shirogorov. Um, it just has that same unbelievably glassy finish. Um, all the components, just the attention to detail, the milling, the everything about it is just, you know, second to none. It truly is a piece of art. Um, some people complain about the clip. I stretched my clip a little bit. Um, it does work just fine. This has only been used around the house. When I say I've stretched it, that means I've just pulled up on it a little bit and it works fine in my pocket now. There's no issues with the clip at all. I did not want to change it out. Um, I have not done any use with this knife as far as cutting anything outside of paper. But uh, anyway, long and short, and I know that I made that very long. It does come with the case, comes with all the materials. They're $441 at, uh, I think I got this at, where did I get this from? DLT Trading is where I got this from, and it was $441. And uh, I'm selling it for $400, and it's basically a brand new knife. Um, I'm taking 41 bucks off it, and I'm, I paid to have it delivered and everything else um, because I had some other, you know, I got it overnighted, I think, or something. But anyway, that was on me. But uh, I think that should be pretty fair. If you guys, somebody really, really wants it, you know, and you're going to make me an offer, maybe I'll listen. But I don't know if I'm going to come off the 400 because this thing really is a brand new knife. And there is nothing, nothing wrong with this knife. And it, like I said, it's been handpicked. So that's what I got on my Spyderco Drunken. And I can't believe this is on the block. It, again, you may never see it after today. That's all I can tell you. Um, but I am putting it out there today because I'm doing what I got to do. So that's what I got for that. My very final knife of the night. Again, I want to cry. I hate to put this out there, but I'm doing what I got to do. And that is going to be my Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 31 with the natural micarta inlays. It has double lugs, which I did have to pay an extra $30 for because I bought it single lugged and then sent it back in to get the double lug. Um, it's a $580 knife if you get get it with the double lugs. It's $550 for the inlays, and then it's an extra $30 for the lug, so it's $580. So I'm basically taking $50 off the price and selling it for $530. Um, all I can tell you is I got this in January. I got a birth date here. Here's my birthday, and that is, I wrote, I just wrote in the added double lugs, June 21, um, but this is the original birthday card on it, which is January 6th of this year. Um, that's what that is. I do have the original box and everything, and here's the knife. The action is phenomenal. Oh, I can't believe I'm even considering putting this on the block. I will end up getting another one of these. There's no question in my mind. I will definitely be getting another one of these. The problem is it may be an S45VN, and I really like the S35VN, and there's not going to be many of those left anymore. And this one is just barely broken in, yet in great condition. Very, very good condition because I'm very OCD, and I take very good care of my stuff. Um, the one thing I have done is I put my edge on this knife which I think is a huge plus because it's done on my KME. Um, it's got a 17 degree angle on it and it makes this knife very slicey. And it has a beautiful, beautiful, even bevel all the way through the knife uh, edge that is just gorgeous. Um, the grind on this thing is just perfect. Um, I do have the pin for the lanyard. I took it out because I took the lanyard off because I didn't want the lanyard and I didn't want the pin to shake. But I do have it, and I will ship it with the knife um, to put, so you can put it back in if you want to put a lanyard in there. Some people even super glue it in there. I didn't want to do that, and I didn't want to, uh, you know, change the knife that way. So, anyway, um, issues with this knife. This knife is beautiful. Um, it's got the double lugs. As you can see, it does have the double lugs, which I love. I think that's a big plus because they're hard to find. There's not that many out there like that. Um, this is just a great, 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 great knife. $530, guys. That's all I'm going to say. This may be the last time you ever see this knife up on the auction block because this also may stay with me the rest of my life if it doesn't sell tonight. So $530, and this is for the...
Chris Reeve, large Sebenza 31, natural micarta inlays, double lugs. That's what I got, guys. Let me know. This is only going to be up tonight. By tomorrow, the one guys that I hit on these and take them, I'm going to go ahead and box them up, and I will uh, finish the paperwork. You might not hear back from me tonight. You might, but you'll definitely hear from me first thing in the morning if you don't. Um, I'm going to be watching for a couple hours, but after that, I'll probably I'll probably doze off. So that's what I got. I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Hopefully, you like this format and you got something out of this. And uh, even if you end up not buying a knife and you just want to introduce yourself or join my channel, I'm knives in our lives and I have a uh, Instagram and a YouTube channel and I, I would love you know love for you to join me and subscribe as I'm really trying to build this channel up I'm not going to stop doing this I do have another Sebenza that I'm going to be talking about that's going to be one of my long-term knives um, I do have another one which we'll talk about later um, and then I do have a couple uh, just a couple um, inexpensive knives that I decided to hold on to because it just wasn't worth selling them and they're great little knives so uh, I'm going to take a little different approach to the channel. I have a great collection of culinary knives, too. So we're going to get into some of my culinary knives in the future, too, and do some stuff in the kitchen. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys very much. And I've been getting more and more comments. And a lot of them have been positive, And I really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me. I'm going through some tough stuff right now. And I appreciate uh, the positive uh, feedback from you guys. And it makes me want to keep doing this. So thanks for that. And uh, that's all I have. Signing off, guys.